if you are a beginning student of Chinese painting, you might wonder what brushes do I have to buy. Um, I like to recommend this basic three. Uh, we call it uh, the set of basic uh, three brushes for Chinese painting. The first one is a small whistle hair brush. It's used for details and lining. The second one is a soft hair brush uh, made of uh, goat or sh uh, sheep hair and it's good to paint uh, flower petals and wash uh, colors on the leaf. And uh, the third one is a uh, wolf hair brush, actually it's also made of uh, weasel hair, uh, same as this small one. It is, it's bigger, uh, it's good for painting uh, orchids blades and bamboo leaves. Let me show you how it works next. Okay, now let's do some uh, test um, to show you the uh, why I recommend these uh, three basics. Um, the first one is a small detail um, brush. It's uh, made of uh, weasel hair. And you can see it uh, you can do fine lines, you can draw uh, very delicate lines or uh, use as a signature brush. The second one is a um, small size bamboo and orchid brush. Uh, it's very versatile. You can do, um, as the name suggests, the leaves of bamboo or the uh, blades of uh, orchid. You see the nice uh, uh, flying white feedback in Chinese. The bristle uh, in the stroke. And this is uh, uh, used as a liner also. Uh, so we use the tip and hold the brush uh, vertically to use the, the fine tip. Uh, You can use as a calligraphy brush also. The third brush is a soft brush. Um, we use it as a wash brush for uh, like flower petals because it holds more moisture and uh, the softness of the bristle uh, it gives a very nice uh, uh, soft you know, edge the stroke. So the tip is not exposed in those kind of uh, stroke like uh, uh, petals. And you use the side of the brush often. Um, this is a very um, useful, this is very useful for painting uh, the flower petals and the leaf on the uh, flowers.